Hello class and welcome back to police organization and administration. This week we're in chapter four, environmental influences. Okay, these are the learning objectives for this chapter. First objective, identify funding sources in criminal justice and describe how funding impacts the criminal justice system. Second objective, discuss how the use of technology by criminal justice professionals and offenders influences organizations in criminal justice. Third objective, explain how cultural and demographic factors affect criminal justice services. Fourth objective, identify the types of laws involved in criminal justice and how the system is altered as a result of legal changes. Fifth objective, describe how unions impact criminal justice agencies and personnel issues. I could tell you some stories about the unions. Sixth objective, state how politics influences decision making, funding, technology, legal decisions, union negotiations, and other resources in criminal justice. Okay, that's what we have for the learning objectives. Remember to pay particular attention to pages 102 through 105. Uh, in the news, 4.3 Indiana Police Departments want drones. There's just one big problem. That article is very enlightening. Also check out page 110, the career highlight box. Next, we have the unions. That's on page 112. And finally, I'd like for you to read the references made regarding politics on pages 114 and 115. Here are some of the questions that we will be discussing in class. In your opinion, how are police-worn body cameras and drones, as discussed in the News 4.3, going to change in the United States? What advantages and disadvantages will they have? Explain your answer. If you were working in a probation department, what employees' issues would matter most to you? Would it be higher salaries, more time off, compensation time, health disability, or life insurance? What other important issues can you think of? Why do these matter to you? And here's the last question. I think we'll have interesting answers here. Now, if you were hired by a law enforcement agency and the union was present, would you join the union? Why or why not? If you were a member, how would you convince the union representatives and the administration to change employee treatment regarding compensation time? All right, that's all I've got for now. I'll see you in class.